Ninja. What is up, ninjas? My name is Samworld, and today I'm gonna teach you how to hit them with them laser beams, just like Green Velvet. Man, with those laser beams. Talking about. It seems like I'm all over the place with tutorials, guys, but I just love so much music in the dance music world that I have an Avicii, Don Diablo, G House tutorial, and now we have a Dirty Bird style video or a Tech House style of video. So today, guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make those type of lasers inside of X-ray Serum, but please keep in mind you can do this in any other synth, and in fact, I encourage you to try it in every synth that you have, because the filter, the way it reacts, is one of the big things about analog synths that a lot of people like, and each synth is gonna have a different way in that the algorithm works when it comes to the filter, or if you're in an analog, world using like a Moog Sub 37 or a Korg MS-20, they're gonna react differently, so you're gonna get different tonalities out of laser. So today I'm gonna show you various ways that you can do laser beams using the pitch, using the filter with high resonations, using a bandpass and whatnot. So by the end of this, you should be able to hit them with all kinds of laser beams. As always guys, if you wanna support the channel, you can go over to evilsounds.com. I do have a Dirty Bird pack that a lot of you guys got and supported. So if you're in the market for those type of sounds, make sure to check it if you like what you hear in the demo, if you like the presets and you wanna support the channel, that is the best way to to do it but other than that let's get straight into creating some sick ass dope laser beams all right guys and welcome inside of serum where we're gonna be doing this by the end of this video you're gonna be a master at laser so you can make a course on udemy sell it for five bucks on how to make lasers for sound design for movies video games whatnot we're gonna talk about different techniques and if you do do that you give me a little cut my homie because i gotta eat too okay so to create lasers guys there's various techniques we can do and i'm gonna be talking about most of them today there might be more but this is the way that i know or the ways okay okay so first we can all agree i think that a laser sounds like pew 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 all right, so if you slow that sound down and we go pew, pew, that's the pitch of the sound going down, obviously. So instantly I know, all right, if a laser sounds like that, then I need to make my pitch go down. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to use an LFO. We're going to move this to the left because we start from the top. Pew, pew, okay, and we're going to add that to the coarse pitch. I'll shift click to make it unipolar. It goes in one direction to the top because if you're watching this channel, you're on your way to the top because you're going to become a better producer because now you know how to make fucking lasers and you can tell people that. So now if I play that at a fast rate, we get that. If I play that at 160, we get that trick. So we have a laser from here. This is the simplest laser you can get. The change in the pitch. You can choose different wavetables like a sine. You can use a triangle. You can go with A, wave table, even spec. That one sounds, doesn't sound. But you get the idea. If you have wave tables, you can change them as well as they go. You know, you can do a lot of stuff. Sync too, you can. So you get different tonalities, as you can see. It's just something changing at this rate. Slow it down. Okay, I don't know, you know, if you're doing a movie, you can even add a bit of a tap. So you get that pew, 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 you know? So it just depends how you want your laser beam to be. And at the end of the day, guys, while you know this, it's more about experimenting and doing it rather than just going like, all right, this, I'm just going to add the pitch, okay? All right, so that's the first one that we can do. Now let's go back to our trusty saw. That's going to be, you know, the, the OG, the, the girlfriend that you let go in high school. Um, lower the level on it and put it off. We make it punchy. Doom, doom, like a real machine gun rather than just having that be more of so it just depends on what you want, all right? So Green Velvet and, and um, Chris Lake actually have it more of a opened one, and you can have the level be anywhere you want. So it's up to you on how you decide to do that. But that's the simplest way to create the laser, okay? Very simple, as you guys can see. You can click out, whatnot. But now let's get into more advanced ways of making lasers so that you have options, you know? Every guy wants options, you know what I'm saying? So... Next way to do that is you can start to put a filter into play. You don't even need to do this pitch thing. You can open it at a very fast rate with a high resonance. That's going to give you more of the R2-D2 style of laser. Sounds like a 303, uh, of course, you know, not exactly, but we need a bandpass for that, but I just like saying that for it. So that's the other style of laser. Then you can incorporate the pitch. And you get something else if you want it to be more... Okay, now from here, the thing here with this is if we go into a bandpass 24 and we go high resonance, some filters, when you use a very high resonance, they're going to self-oscillate. Now, I don't know if this one does it. I don't think it does. It's lower the 
Yeah, I don't hear it self-oscillate. Maybe there's a way to have it self-oscillate. Not sure. But if we go into silent, which is, I think, a little bit better for this, you can self-oscillate the filter inside of silent. So let's activate it. It's another way of doing that. You can use like a low pass with a very high resonation there. Let's lower the level. So you can see this levels are down. So you can move this cutoff and create lasers that way as well. Use a sign, uh, or sorry, a saw. You can distort and then from there go going that way. So I don't know if Serum allows us to do the self oscillation, but I'm just letting you know that's that's open up a lot of analog synths do it that's why i'm saying every filter is different when it comes to analog synths that's why a lot of people like them for that fucking filter <laughs> all right so since we can't do it here we are gonna have to use a sign or we can use a, a um you know a sign from there we can distort that as you heard in side of silent let's go with like hard click to get different now the reason it sounds so muddy and low is because the band pass is starting down here so if we move it more high up and mess with the length mess with resonance you can get different vibes there so that's another way to create uh, a laser now depending on where you start on the cutoff you can get different if you want a very like boom 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 kind of laser that has very low dumpiness to it then you can go down there um fuck create dump Okay, so those are kind of cool ways to create the lasers, guys. Now, from here, literally, there's more ways to do it, but that's going to be about it. The rest is going to be experimentation, like, oh, let's detune the song. If you want to get really complex with it, let's say we just have this here, and let's, you know, let's go reset. And let's lower this down. You want to get the auto pan effect that Green Velvet and Chris Lake had in the Teaver. You can add another photo of that, move it left and right. So you can do that as well. You know, even if you have one saw, it's still going to work. You know, various ways to do stuff and then from there just play around. But the key thing about the laser is that it's just a change that's happening at a very fast rate, which makes uh, the sound not as tonal, but it makes it more of a fast kind of pitch uh, sound that we can do. From there, you know, just do your standard processing and whatnot. And that's about it. Now, let's get into advanced things. Let's say that you want to do cool things like Chris Lake does in some of his tracks where it's literally the effect sounds like this. All right, if you want to do that, you can use an envelope or modulate or automate it yourself. But if you want to have an envelope do that for you, you can use envelope three. If you have the decay working instead of the attack, then that means we're going to click our destination with this at the highest value and then decay decides how long it takes for us to go down to whatever value LFO rate is telling you you're at. Higher decay. Now, let's say uh, while that is happening, you want the pitch to go up, like higher pitch for some reason. You can give this a bit of attack and just add it to the course pitch. Alt shift click, make it go up. You can make it go down. Hey, what's up? You're here learning about fucking lasers. Yeah. All right, so you can see there's various things to do there, guys. Now, if we keep going, other ways to create lasers we do have flanges and we do have phasers that we can use utilize this so if you didn't know flangers and phasers are going to be effects that are time based so there's like an lfo routed to them the depth decides the amount feedback decides the volume of the effect so you can use these at very high rates as well to create that now the rate you know we can't decide whether this is a sign or a saw or whatnot so we are stuck with that sign effect so this is more of wobbly laser uh, we do have a phaser which is more so then when we have that being added we can choose the effect where the effect's going to take place with the phaser. Now, the phaser does some weird EQing and then it moves to the left and right. That's where you get that effect. But increase let's say you want to have more of the phaser, then you use a sign.
You know, and you can do a lot of cool stuff, you know, just... Oh, you want to make a bubble gun. Fucking effect. You can do it there. But again, guys, it's all about creativity. It's all about experimentation. If you know these techniques, cool. But if you're too lazy to implement them, if you're too lazy to mess around to get unique stuff, that's where it becomes a problem. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is how to do it with an envelope, which is the, the, the way I, I don't really don't like. But if you want to do this with an envelope, just add envelope three to our course pitch. There. And with DK, you control the length, how fast. You're gonna put a, a MIDI arpeggiator, and you're not, you guys aren't gonna see that because my thing is fucked. And from there, you can do the same exact thing with the with the LFO, but I think it's a lot more fun. Now, again, try it out with different synths like Silent and and you know Spire and any analog emulation synths you have because they're all gonna give you different effects. But that is how we create lasers like Green Velvet, Chris Lake Knife Party, and whatnot, guys. You know, it's a lot of fun as you can see. It's all about having fun at the end of the day. Last thing I do want to say since I mentioned Knife Party is that if you hear their song, um, Lasers, uh, what they do as well that's different than from we did is the fact that they have the lasers routed to the course pitch. And then they have this sort of sequence that happens. And you can tell it's a sequence because at the bottom of the thing, when the lasers aren't hitting, you hear the boom, the saw being at its original um, state. So we can do stuff like that too. Move it like one bar and you can have the saw be like itself there, but then you, you don't have. So let's say we hit that, um, get rid of the arpeggio. And so at the bottom, we have the saw. All right, we're going to make this go even higher up. And then that's how we create those effects that you heard in the Knife Party song. You know, I'll add them in the name of the title. But it's just about having a sequence like so that you can have, you know, that's going to repeat. And again, I know this isn't going to be good because I'm not going to spend time here, like, just getting it perfect. I'm just going to add, like, random ass fucking modulations here and there and um, just show you how it's going to sound like. But again, you know, it's all about just doing this right at the end of the day, so. Okay, so that's how you would do it. <laughs> that's the retarded version of it, and I'm proud to say it, guys. But that is the end of the tutorial. If you guys want to support the channel, evilsounds.com. If you're into Dirty Bird style music, check out the Dirty Chicken sound set, guys. And with that being said, it is my birthday today, so I'm going to go enjoy it or probably just produce here because it's Wednesday, so I'll wait till Saturday for that. But you guys take care. You guys have an amazing day, guys. And now you know how to make laser beams like your favorite artist. Peace out, ninjas. Woo! <laughs> but what you talking about? I see your lips moving, but what you talking about? Right. Right. Right.